everybody. Thanks so much for uh, stopping in today. Um, Want to welcome you, you know, to official Hey Dad, where our goal is to motivate and to inform. If this is your uh, first time here, and if it's not, you know, thanks for hanging, you know, coming back to see us today. I wanted to do an unboxing of um, the D Herbs Detox Pill Box um, that I got in the mail, and uh, show you guys what's going on. Um, and basically, this is what what it looks like. Got it in the box. D Herbs, welcome to the full body cleanse. You just opened a new healthy chapter in your life. And they have all six bottles of the pills. Um, each one is numbered. Um, and each one is for a specific area. Um, this is number one is the blood and lymphatic. Number two is the cardiovascular. The number three is the liver, spleen, and gallbladder. Um, number four is the lungs and respiratory. Number five is the kidney, bladder, and adrenals. And number six is the colon and digestive tract. Um, and this actually, they, they give you a, um, you know, a, a pill box, you know, with it. Um, and then they also, they give you this um, uh, carbon activated charcoal that you thin out with water before you go to bed and you drink it. Um, and then they give you the full body cleanse pamphlet and this spells out everything in detail is very 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 explanatory i really like what they did in here um because it's actually is even better than when i did my 10 um 10 day one a couple years ago um this was just this, this is more detail um and they, they go through and they show you each pill and what each one benefits and what it does to your system uh and even with the activated charcoal what that's for um, and then they give you the times of when you should take each one. Um, and, you know, it's, it's really nice. To, the, carb, the carbon activated charcoal, that's actually a half a teaspoon with a glass of water. You thin it out and, uh, and drink that. But, um, you know, they give you a, um, what do you call it, a breakfast snack suggestions. They give you a sample menu in here. Um, and all of this you can find on their website, uh, dherbs.com. Um, and then they also do this recommended during the cleanse. They suggest sea salt, um, soaps and, you know, things of that nature, uh, hydrotherapy, showers, um, sauna, you know, yoga, breathing, breathing exercises. Very, very, very nice. Um, it's like I say, you know, I think, I think this is going to be really, really, I'm kind of like excited and nervous at the same time because it's 20 days um but you know we're going to see you know we're going we're going we're going to the finish line you know and and i want while i'm on that let me talk about the significance because i looked up the significance of 20 days and typically in order to break a habit they suggest 20 to 21 days of being consistent on not doing a particular thing whatever it may be so this 20 day is significant um and, you know, we're going to the finish line, you know, and whatever it is that you decide that you're going to, you know, give up. If you're going to do the full thing that I'm doing, you know, rock with me. And if you're just going to pick one thing out, you know, rock with me there, too. I'm, like I say, I just, you know, my last video, we talked about, you know, the no meats, no sweets, no strong drinks. Um, and, you know, hey, if that's the route you want to take, cool. Or if you just want to focus on you know, no, no, um, no sweets. And actually that's something my mother is doing. Um, she said, look, I'm not going to do all that other stuff. She said, but I'm definitely, you're going to focus in on my 20 days of my, uh, my, my sweets, um, with the, uh, no strong drinks. You know, we're talking about caffeine drinks, alcohol, um, in different forms. And, you know, your, your uh, caffeinated teas, you know, and sodas, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, Whatever your vice is, like I said before, when we talk about no meats, you say, hey, can I still eat fish? You know, to me, I I think fish is a meat. <laughs> um, it's not a fruit or a vegetable. And this detox with the herbs specifically wants you on fresh, uncooked, fresh fruits, fresh vegetables um, and increasing your water intake. Um, and specifically the water intake. Um, when we talk about that, I found a wonderful video on YouTube uh, from our dear brother, um, rest in power to uh, brother Dick Gregory, um, where he talks about the benefits of water um, and how, you know, you typically try to figure out how much you should drink per day. A lot of people say one gallon, but his suggestion was taking your body weight and dividing it 
in ounce, I mean, dividing it in half and drinking that in ounces. So if you're 200 pounds, 100 pounds is half of that. So you'll be drinking a hundred ounces of water that day or per day. Um, and look, you say you ain't drinking it all at once. You know, some people, they just not water people. But um, and even for me, you know, I get frustrated over a period of time drinking a whole bunch of water, but it's necessary to stay hydrated um, and it's beneficial, you know, so um, that's to be considered. Um, and here's another thing I was thinking, too. You know, I was researching and watching on the uh, few videos of the uh, the CEO of the D Herbs, and he was talking about specifically three days. The first three days are going to be the hardest. So I want to just, you know, let you guys know, listen, hang in there. You know what I'm saying? Um, breaking a habit, getting your addictions under control, the first three days are typically the hardest. You're fighting yourself. You know, you might have a little attitude with the people around you. You might have that because you, you, you're craving, your cravings, your cravings are all, you know, are going crazy. You know what I'm saying? And that's not just with food. That could be just specifically saying, hey, I'm used to playing a video game. I can't play. Oh, my goodness. Wait a minute. You know, um, it's almost like you're losing a friend. You know what I'm saying? And we think about how addictions are, how much uh, our, what we're addicted to has become our friends. So um, if it's negative and if it's taking away a valuable time out of your life, um, yeah, you, you got to pull it in. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I think that's I think it's going to be great. So just hang in there. You know, we um, we trying to encourage one another. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to be great. You know, I'm confident and uh, we're going to see what to do. Um, another thing I wanted to consider was. Your, your food, you know, kind of have an idea of what you're going to be eating if you're giving up specific foods and all. Um, Focusing on, you know, having your food prepped already or, or what you're going or already have it planned out or what you're going to eat. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because you don't want to get jammed up and boom, you out and dag, man, I forgot to bring me something to eat. You know, so now you, you know, might run and run across the street. And it all for some reason, whenever you give up something, that always be the time somebody want to take you out to eat or treat you to something. I don't know what it is about that, <laughs> you know, but we got to be on we got to be on point. And we got to say, listen, what am I trying to do? So, you you know, just kind of have an idea. Like I said, the D Herbs website gives uh, tons and tons of recipes um, that you can look up and, and, and create, um, you know. And it's not just the smoothies and the, you know, the juicing, you know, which that's very important. Um, and that's also suggested. Um, but and it's beneficial, which I will be doing a video on the comparison of a juice extractor versus versus a juicer um, because both of them are, you know, a different, um, but are very beneficial. Um, you know, so, um, you know, just, just like for, zoom in on what you're trying to do there. Um, and, you know, like I say, we're going to see what happens um, and just look forward to winning, look forward to everything working out. Um, I had to ask the question, what if I pulled through this 20 days? Matter of fact, when I pull through, and this is how you got to talk, put it in the atmosphere. When I pull through this 20 days, what if I stick to it? And how would things look for me this time next year? What if this time you really stay consistent and you follow through? And then you begin making adjustments because here's the deal. We don't just want to do this 20 days and then we done and we go back. You see what I'm saying? You do this 20, observe yourself, observe your life journal. You see what I'm saying? That's something I love to talk, but I don't like to write. So this is one of my challenges that I'm challenging myself through this uh, period of 20 days to journal. And write down how I felt that day. You know what I'm saying? And what I wanted to accomplish and did I accomplish it? You see what I'm saying? So write it down. Write down what you ate. You know what I'm saying? And then after the 20 days, continue to write down what your habits are. And observe. That way you can look back and say, wait a minute. If I did a full flush and I haven't had any you know, breakouts, you know, cause you got to think about certain things we eat and drink, you know, whenever, you know, 
certain times I drink, well, yes, when I drink sodas, you know, I get, you know, bumps on my face. You got a bump on my face right now. Just had a Pepsi, you know, the other day. You know, so you got to really consider what's going on in your system. And you say, okay, well, wait a minute. I wasn't having this during the 20 days, you know. So zoom in on what you're eating. You know what I'm saying? That way you can kind of pull yourself together. Like I said before, you don't need the doctor to tell you what you need to do. You already know what you need to do. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to work together. You know, I didn't have to do this online, but I really wanted to do it because it's an everyday lifestyle vlog. And um, I feel like, you know, I'm creating relationships and, you know, hey, you know, welcome to my world. You know what I'm saying? And um, we're going to we're going to be great together. Uh, and uh, the world is full of a lot of toxicity. Um, and it's really got to do with what we're consuming, what we're eating, what we're drinking. I mean, it's 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 really something that we've got to take a look at. So, like I said, you know, we're going to go for the be best. We're going to get to the finish line and everything's going to be great. Um, you take care and I appreciate you for hanging out with me. Enjoy your day. Thank you.